哎呦，好啦，多黑粉啦，多黑。Apply credit card, bro. Ah, yeah, don't want lah. I see so many people trapped in credit card debt, lah. My, 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 my. Yeah, lah, yeah, lah. Don't spend future money, ah. Credit card got points one, leh. Someone got rebate, some more. Buy things cheaper, leh. Ah, loy, loy. Don't be tempted with short-term happiness. Emergency time, ah, can lock, you know. So keep one for emergency, only emergency, je. Ah, loy, ah, loy. Lock, ah, lock, ah. After you in deep shit, leh. Upgrade you to platinum la. Even Lang Chai will fall in love with you ah. Ayo, how la? To have or not to have? Just like everything, there are pro and cons. And sometimes accidents do occur, emergency happen, and credit card can be very useful. Credit card statements can also be a good thing for us to track our expenses. Yet there are so many temptations with credit card and using future money, and that's where we are all trapped. When I first started my job, I refused to have a credit card even though I have the credentials. And my boss said, you should control the credit card and not the card controlling you. And you should learn how to manage the credit cards. So I applied for my first credit card. I treated it like a debit card because every time I make payment, I will go online and pay back the credit card. But then, sooner or later, I became deep in debt. I was deep in 27,000 ringgit of credit card debt. Fairly recently, the Bank Negara Malaysia revealed that 47% Malaysian youth have high credit card debts and 38% of them have already taken personal loans. So if you were like me with deep credit card debts, let me share my experience with you. First, I stopped using the credit card. I only spend for expenses and necessities, re-looking back at my expenses and what else to cut. I repay the debt anytime I can, it's not just the minimum payment. And I set a goal to pay off by 12 months. And within 8 months, I completed restructuring and repaying off my debt. It was a painful process in fact, but I knew if I never take that very first step to do it, I will be more painful in the future. And in that 8 months of repaying my debts, I am more frugal and I am in control of my expenses and finance and it became a habit for me to spend wisely. I am still a spender but this time I spend consciously. So, who is the boss? You are the boss or your credit card is your boss?